<laughs> Let's take a look what's going on. What a day. Uh, yesterday afternoon, we were expecting it to warm up you know, into the mid-50s. It stayed in the low 50s for those of you who had to take your kiddos out to do some trick-or-treating like this guy. And it was windy. Boy, did that wind just cut right through you. Uh, but at midnight, these were our low temperatures. We were in the mid to upper 50s, so as expected, the temperatures were rising overnight, and we were on at 4.30 this morning. Temperatures were already in the lower 60s. That was 20 to 30 degrees warmer than yesterday morning. And we had a few clouds this morning as well. Those have moved out. Look at the blue sky over Port Washington and pretty much all of southeastern Wisconsin. 65 degrees in Port, a light southwesterly wind. That dew point near 60 degrees. That's putting humidity at almost 80 percent. That's humid for November. So we have a little bit of cloud cover, especially down to the south of us, but for the most part, the state's enjoying uh, a lot of sunshine and today November 1st, but it feels more like June 1st. These are typical temperatures uh, for early summer and the humidity as well. Not only is it the pick day of the week, I'm thinking it's the pick day of the month. It's going to be hard pressed to beat this, especially as we go forward in the month. You know what happens this month. Temperatures go way down and you can even see snow uh, by the end of the month as well. Tomorrow, though, we're dealing with rain as the system pushes on through here, but just rain. We're still anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees warmer than this time yesterday as temperatures right now are in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. 65 at Port's one of the cooler spots. Otherwise, you got 70 in Milwaukee, Racine and Kenosha, 70 out towards Jane's and 66 in Watertown and Beaver Dam. Those higher dew points are basically from Fond du Lac and Sheboygan to the south. The Northwoods area has the dew points in the lower 40s, which is very comfortable. That will start to move in here uh, for tomorrow. But boy, how do you not give this a top 10 weather day? It, it's perfect, really. 72 degrees, that's 20 degrees above normal. Yeah, there could be a few clouds. The wind is light, a little bit of humidity. That's the only thing, because Vinny is complaining with the humidity, which he's joking. We might have to give this a 9.5. Tonight, <laughs> the temperatures drop into the upper 40s to lower 50s. Those are our typical high temperatures, and that's going to be our low tonight. It says Tuesday morning. I don't know why, but tomorrow morning will be in the upper 40s to lower 50s. The future forecast shows light winds tonight, clouds increase, and by morning, we'll see a few scattered downpours around, maybe even a rumble of thunder. That chance of rain increases throughout the late morning and throughout the afternoon and even into the evening hours. This will not be like last Wednesday where it rained all day and we picked up two to three inches of rain. This will be much lighter than that. Highs tomorrow will be stuck in the low to mid 50s with that cloud cover. How much rain are we talking about? A quarter to a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch of rain in some locations, but for the most part, everyone is less than an inch. So yes, heavy rain, but not like last week. 72 and partly cloudy, just absolutely beautiful for November 1st, for any time of the year, really. 53 tonight with increasing clouds and showers developing well after 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. 7-day forecast tomorrow, 58 with those rain showers and then dropping into the low 50s by afternoon. Sunshine in 57 for Thursday. Friday is 61. Beautiful conditions, just not 72 like today. And for the weekend, we continue to be mild. The first week of November is outstanding. Highs will be around 60 Saturday and Sunday. Vinny? Keep it rolling. Don't put All the right. clubs away yet. <laughs> Thank you, Brian.